it is time for a shower. <laughs> Whew! Showering feels amazing. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show besides my 2016 Rock and Roll Half Marathon, which is not in here yet, <laughs> my race book. This is just a little scrapbook that I got at Target a few years ago because I wanted to keep track of uh, my race bibs and uh, my results and everything. Uh, first, a real quick history of me and running. So when I was a freshman in high school, I did cross country mostly because my best friend wanted to do it. And I hated it like so much. And I was really bad. I was like the slowest person on the team. Um, we had like seven people on our JV team and usually it was like the top six scores counted. So my score never even counted, which I guess is good because it was bad. Um, we ran two mile races and I think my fastest time, like towards the end of the season was 1630. And that's, that's not very good. And then my slowest time was much slower. <laughs> um, and, but I loved the team. I loved all the other girls. So I almost kept it up with it. And then we were getting ready to go into the sophomore season and I was like, oh yeah, I hated every single practice, every single day. I can't do this. And so I pretty much stopped running then and then for a few years. And then once I decided I was going to be in the Navy, I was like, oh shit, I need to run again. Cause you know, you kind of have to be in shape to do like a military thing. So I kind of started running again and I was very bad at it. All through the academy, I struggled with running. Um, I did it a lot, but I was really bad at it compared to everyone else at the academy, which is not the normal population of the United States, I guess. But so every semester we had to take a, a physical readiness test. We had to run a mile and a half. And passing, the very slowest you could run and pass for females was 12 minutes and 40 seconds. I never failed an official one. I never failed. But my slowest score was 12 minutes and 34 seconds. So you can tell that I was right there on the edge. And it was, you know, people just knew that I was a slow runner. And I heard people kind of give me crap about it. I used to have to go to like remedial workouts with my company to make sure that I wouldn't fail. It was kind of embarrassing. And um, so even though I kind of liked running, on my own, I always like felt really ashamed of it at the time because I wasn't very good at it compared to everyone I went to school with. So then when I graduated and I started running with not everyone at the academy for our PRTs, um, I realized I actually wasn't the slowest person out there and that I did okay at running. Um, and I liked to run as just a workout. So I would kind of run just for fun two or three miles every couple days or whatever, but it was not a big thing for me. So then back in 2012, I was living in Charleston, South Carolina, and there is a very iconic bridge in Charleston called the Cooper River Bridge. And I saw that they were having a 10K run over the bridge. And I thought, you know, this is really cool. Normally you don't get a chance to walk over this bridge or get a chance to run. And I had been kind of thinking about doing a race for a while. So I um, thought that I would do it. And I convinced my boyfriend to do it with me. And that was the very first race I ever, I ever ran, and I guess I was just hooked from that, and I have been running races pretty much ever since, at least one or two a year. So that's what we have in here. Okay, so, my race book. <laughs> yes, this is like a fucking high schooler or younger designed it, but that's my style, so I like it. Okay, so here we go. The very first one I ever did, the Cooper River Bridge Run back in 2012, March 31st. Um, I actually, this is kind of funny, this was the run, if you've ever seen the internet meme a from a couple years ago called the Ridiculously Photogenic Guy, it was actually this run that I was at. I was not ridiculously photogenic, I looked terrible. Um, so like I said, I convinced my boyfriend to do this with me, which was pretty amazing because we'd only been dating for like about four months at this point. <laughs> hey, come and pick six miles with me. It was the longest run I had ever done to that point in my life. Even my training plan only went to like five miles, I think. So yeah, so I was like, I can totally run six miles at once. Also, because it's a bridge run, it goes over a bridge, which is basically a ginormous hill. So, that, and that was like in the middle of the run. So once I got to about mile five, I really didn't think I was gonna make it. I just wanted to stop, I wanted to die. My boyfriend cheered me on, kept me going even though he didn't even like train for this event. And here I am dying after I had done my whole training plan, and whatever. But we made it across the finish line together and it was, we didn't stop at all. So it was good. It was my very first one. I think my goal, I mostly was just to finish, but was uh, under an hour and we got 56, 53. So I was pretty happy with that. It was a nine minute, 10 second pace. And 
and I finished 6,561st out of 36,756 people. So not terrible. And like I said, that was in Charleston, South Carolina. So then after that, I moved on to San Diego, back to San Diego. And I thought, hey, if I can do a 10K, I can totally do a half marathon, right? So um, my boyfriend wasn't living out here at the time, so he was spared from this. But I signed up to do the San Diego Half Marathon. And this was only the second annual San Diego Half Marathon. So this was about a year later, so March 10th, 2013. And I ran, my goal was just, again, was just to finish. And, but I kind of had in mind two hours and 15 minutes. And I actually ran in two hours, three minutes, and 42 seconds. So I really was happy with that. It was much faster than I thought I was going to be able to do. That ended up being a 9.27 minute pace. And my results overall, I finished 2,233 out of um, about 5,700 people. A 829th woman out of about 3,100. And I was the 168th woman out of about 600 in my age group. And because it was a half marathon, I got my very first running medal. I was a finisher medal for the San Diego Half Marathon. So after that, I um, didn't run for a while actually. And then one of my friends from my hometown was getting married back in my hometown. And the weekend of her wedding, they were also doing a race that weekend in my hometown on this um, trail that had opened up since I had moved away. And I thought this would be a really fun way to uh, stay active during the weekend and give me something to do because um, I was gonna have to go to the wedding by myself because my boyfriend was out of town. So I signed up to do the 10K. There was a half marathon, but I was not, <laughs> not in shape to do that. So I signed up to do the 10K. And um, this was on September 24th, 2014. And I finished in 56.03 which was a personal record for me at that point in time. Um, and that ended up being a 902 minute pace. Um, this, my hometown is very small. Um, there were kind of people from the surrounding counties, but there, it wasn't a huge race. So I finished 17th out of 48 people. I was the ninth female finisher out of 37 and the sixth out of 16 in my age group of 20 to 29 female. So it was, it was good. And then later I went to the wedding and I did not feel guilty about all the booze I drank. <laughs> So after that, I was uh, I kind of remembered how much I loved racing, so I wanted to do another one. Um, my boyfriend went on deployment, so and he was supposed to come back in January. So I was like, hey, how about we do a couples run for Valentine's Day? And then his deployment got extended, so he ended up coming back um, in February, and he literally ran this 10k with me four days after he got back, and he had not been training at all. He was out on a submarine where there's you know nowhere to run, and I had been training my ass off. So I was a little worried that he was going to slow me down. So this was, it was actually the day after Valentine's Day, because it was a weekend. So on um, February 15th, 2015, in Coronado, California. And it, they had this, um, they had these cute little tokens that you could use that said, I'm single or I'm taken. So since we ran together, obviously mine was I'm taken. Um, and even though I was worried about it, we actually ended up, uh, running very well, and it was another PR for me. I was kind of mad at him about that. I was like, you don't train, and yet you push me to run my fastest time. So we finished in 53.43 at an 8.40 pace. Um, amongst male-female couples, we were 25th out of 384, so it really wasn't a bad day for us. And overall, I finished 293 out of 1,098. So that was a lot of fun. Um, he, like I said, he hates running, so I have to kind of twist his arm to get him to do it with me. And even though it was only a 10k, we got a medal! Most 10ks don't usually have medals, at least in my experience, but this one did. So, here's a Coronado Valentine's Day 10k. And then from there, I kind of went straight into training for another half marathon, because I thought that would help me build up, basically, um, to running a better time. And my goal was to beat the two hour mark since I kind of got close on my last one. And I was like, I can totally do it. So this was the Rock and Roll San Diego Half Marathon. So the Rock and Roll is a series that they do across the country. And this one was for San Diego. And I did beat my time goal that I had set. So my goal was to break the two hour barrier. And I got one hour, 56 minutes and 24 seconds. 
That was a big PR for me and I was super excited. It was an eight minute and 53 second pace, which if you had asked me, you know, four years ago, if I could run an 8.53 pace for 13.1 miles, I would be like, I couldn't even run 13.1 miles, but it turns out I can, and I can do it kind of not slow. Um, so overall, I finished 2,664th out of 13,706 people. So it was a big race. Um, and in my age division, I was 187 out of 1440. So I'm finishing towards the top. So San Diego Rock and Roll was a half marathon. I did get a medal. And um, my boyfriend was gone again for this one, so I was just running by myself. There we go, there's the Rock and Roll Half Marathon. And uh, since it is a Rock and Roll Half Marathon, they have like a concert afterwards, and it was, um, the headliner was OAR, which was pretty cool, except I was so tired, I only stayed for like one or two songs, and I just wanted to go home. <laughs> and because I was by myself, so. But there we have it. But I had to take some time off, but then I wanted to do another 10K, and I wanted to do more than one. I kind of wanted to get into my peak racing shape and run a couple races. So I kind of planned it out, um, and I was like, I want to do one in th for Thanksgiving, because it was pretty common for there to be, like, you know, turkey races or whatever. Plus, I love to eat, so I was like, then I can just eat whatever I want on Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then I found another one in December in San Diego that would be great, and then we were going to go on vacation in January, and we were going to Vegas, so I found a race to run in Vegas. So the first one of this series that I had put together was the San Diego Run for the Hungry. Um, they had 5K and 10K, but I did the 10K. And uh, like I said, this is San Diego. It was on Thanksgiving, so it was November 26, 2015. And um, I got another PR. <laughs> so that I, my time was 51.44. And that's an 8.20 pace. So I was pretty damn proud of myself at that point. My boyfriend had duty that day, so he could not come watch, so again, I was by myself, which was a lot of fun. But anyway, I finished 196 out of 735 overall, so this is a really good finish for me. I was 13 out of 74 in my age group of females, 25 to 29. So yay me! That was a lot of fun, and I ate so much that Thanksgiving, last Thanksgiving. My boyfriend came home later that in the day, so... Um, okay, so then the one I did in December, this one I was pretty excited about because it was a lot of fun. It's called the Hot Buttered Run. So this is obviously play on words, a little pun about hot buttered rum. Um, and at the finish, yes, you got a hot buttered rum, which was delicious. And um, it was, since it was geared to kind of be like more of a fun thing, it didn't start until 10 a.m., which if you ever run races, you know they usually start at like 7 or earlier. Uh, so that was like kind of nice. <laughs> and it was, um... It was in San Diego, so it was nice out, even though it was December. It was December 20th, and I once again got a PR on my 10K, so this is now my current standing PR for 10K, which is 50 minutes and 16 seconds, which is an 8.13 pace. So I was really happy with that. And my boyfriend was in town, so someone actually was there to, like, watch me, which was exciting, because it had been a while since I'd had a spectator. Um, and I finished 78th out of 651 people. And in my division, females 25 to 29, I was actually the fourth place finisher out of 55, which was so frustrating because I think the top three got like a prize or something, and I was like, so close. But I was really, really happy with that. I could not believe it. And then the last one that we did in Las Vegas, um, there was a 5K and a 10K, but it was actually the day we were leaving, and I did not have time to do the 10K, so I had to do the 5K. And I'd actually never run a 5K before, an official 5K before. And I was a little worried about it because you basically just have to run fast, and I don't like to run fast. I like to run long. <laughs> um, and plus we were on vacation, so I had been eating a ton and I mean I had like a training plan that I kind of tried to stick to, but it was mostly just for fun. Um, and I actually ended up kicking butt. <laughs> this, this is not a very humble video, is it? But whatever, sorry. So my time was 23.20, which for me is very much faster than I was expecting. I know that it's not the fast, like, fastest in the big scheme of things. But that's a 731 pace. So yeah, my goal was like, well, my goal was just to finish because like I said, I was on vacation. But um, but I was kind of in my head thinking like an eight minute pace. So 731 was way better than I was expecting to do. And I finished 23 out of 108 overall. And I was actually the second place female finisher, which was really awesome for me. I've never placed, I guess. <laughs> um, and, and I got a medal for a 5k <laughs> and it's super cute it has the um it's a little you know vegas chip and it was 
for the Sin City shootout, which I guess was this like whole weekend of stuff, and um, but I just did the race. Uh, yeah, Sin City shootout. And then that was my last race, and I was like, I'll take a while off, but then I was thinking about it, and I was like, I really want to do another half marathon, and the rock and roll one is coming up again, so I picked up another training plan a couple months ago, and he, um, my boyfriend went on deployment, so I was like, I'm going to need something to do. And he actually was not supposed to be back for my race, and his schedule got changed, and he came back the night before the race, last, last night, he came back. And he actually um, ended up coming out to watch me, which was amazing because the race started at 6.15 a.m. this morning. And I will, you know, um, put that uh, newest one in here. And then that's actually the end of my race book. I'm going to need to get more pages because, let's be honest, I'm not going to stop racing. So I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing some of my bibs and medals and hearing me talk about how awesome I am. <laughs> But obviously, look, I'm not a professional runner. I'm not that great. Um, but it's something I really like to do. And if you've ever thought about it, I encourage you to run a race. It's so much fun. They're a little expensive, but um, if you really think about it, running is one of the cheapest hobbies you can have. I usually buy about a pair of shoes once a year and then my race registrations and that's pretty much it. And there's just so much the energy of like running a race. It's really different than just running by yourself. So I would encourage you to check it out if you're um, curious. And... I hope you enjoyed my video, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Nora! Just take a look at this girl. 65% of the people running here, they are female.